Hello everyone. This is Rhythm Heaven Fan 2007 here. And for today's topic, I'm going to explain why ad blockers are a bad idea on YouTube. But I'm not the only one who's gonna explain about this. Because I'm also gonna have one character from a show or video game to join me for this topic. Her name is Twilight Sparkle. She is from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Okay Twilight, you can come up and introduce yourself. Hello. I'm Twilight Sparkle. And I'm here to join Rhythm Heaven Fan 2007, aka Josiah Piles to explain about why ad blockers are not okay on YouTube. Now, before we start, I know that a lot of YouTubers don't like YouTube ads because they can be really annoying, and can disrupt your video watch. And another thing, this video is just only for advice and constructive criticism purposes. Please do not attack me about this video. Oh, just to let you know that I'm using ChatGPT, to give me explanations, reasons, and examples about something, like in this video about me and Twilight are about to talk about the ad blockers. Anyways, are you ready Twilight? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, now let's get started. I will go first with the first four. For number one, violation of terms of service. Here's an explanation. YouTube's toes explicitly prohibits the use of tools or services that block ads. This is because YouTube relies on ad revenue to support its platform. Here's an example. In 2020, YouTube updated its policies to include explicit language against ad blockers, emphasizing that users who employ these tools are in violation of the toes. Here's an image what happens if you do this to the YouTube's terms of service. Here, it says ad blockers violate YouTube's terms of service. It looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Video playback is blocked unless YouTube is allow listed or the ad blocker is disabled. Ads allow YouTube to be used by billions worldwide. You can go ad free with YouTube Premium, and creator can still get paid from your subscription. Number 2. Revenue Impact Explanation YouTube generates a significant portion of its revenue from ads. Ad blockers reduce the number of ads viewed, directly impacting YouTube's earnings and the earnings of content creators. Example. Content creators who rely on ad revenue for their livelihood see a decrease in income when viewers use ad blockers, making it harder for them to produce quality content. Number 3. Content Accessibility Explanation. Ads help keep the platform free for users. Blocking ads undermines this model and could lead to more restrictive measures, such as paywalls or increased premium content. Example. Platforms like Spotify have introduced stricter measures against ad blockers, including suspending or banning accounts that use them. YouTube could follow a similar path, restricting access for users who block ads. Number 4. Content Creation and Sustainability Explanation. Ads fund not only the platform but also the content creators. Without ad revenue, many creators might not be able to afford to produce content, leading to a decrease in the variety and quality of available videos. Example. Many YouTubers openly discuss how ad revenue supports their channels. A drop in ad revenue can force creators to seek alternative income sources, such as sponsorships, which might not always align with their content or audience. OK Twilight, it's your turn. Thanks Josiah. Alright. So, for number 5, Platform Development. Here's an explanation. Revenue from ads supports the development and maintenance of the platform. This includes improving infrastructure, adding new features, and ensuring a better user experience. Here's an example. YouTube has introduced features like live streaming, community posts, and YouTube Shorts, all of which require significant investment. Reduced ad revenue could slow down or halt such developments. Number 6. Legal and Ethical Considerations Explanation. Using ad blockers can raise legal and ethical issues as it can be seen as accessing content without contributing to its cost, which some might equate to a form of digital piracy. Example. Websites and content platforms have increasingly viewed ad blockers as a breach of contract, as users agree to view ads in exchange for free content. Some sites have even pursued legal action against ad blocking companies. And finally, number 7, User Experience and Countermeasures. Explanation. YouTube and other platforms might introduce more aggressive countermeasures against ad blockers, potentially disrupting the user experience. Example. 
Some websites use anti-ad blocker scripts that can render the site unusable until the ad blocker is disabled. YouTube could implement similar measures, leading to frustration and a poorer user experience. Now, time for some more few examples. Now, we did talk about this back in the first reason, but there is still one thing left. This is how some people get really angry about the ad interruptions and they always get disrupted. And they always wanted to block YouTube ads. Well, of course, this could be frustrating, but still, we cannot use ad blockers because like the image said, it can violate the terms of service and we might get a community guidelines strike for that. But I'll tell you what. If you want to stop seeing or don't want to see these ads ever again, then you can go to YouTube Premium. Alright Josiah, you can finish this. Thanks Twilight. So later, I'm gonna talk about what YouTube Premium looks like, but for now, let's get on with something else. Shall we? Well, I didn't like YouTube ads for a little bit, but it's a good thing I'm not using ad blockers. Overall, YouTube Premium is designed to enhance the user experience by offering ad-free content, greater accessibility options, and exclusive content. And that's the message. I hope you all understand about what me and Twilight Sparkle said in the whole video whether you agree or disagree. This video is for advice and constructive criticism purposes only. Please share this video if only you wish to do so. I also don't want you to attack any of the people that we're mentioning is this video. Okay Twilight, you are free to go. See you later. Thank you for the visit. You're welcome. Goodbye everyone. Well guys, that's everything we had. This is Rhythm Heaven Fan 2007, aka, Josiah Piles, signing off. See you in the next video.